Hey, this is Morgan with Dave and Tech. I'm back here with another video about this KP200. Uh, I just did an unboxing of it just to kind of show you what was in the box and give you kind of a rundown of, of what it did and what it looked like physically. So uh, now we're going to run through the configuration and setup of it. Before I get started, I do want to say if you're not comfortable with electricity, or you're not familiar with really how it works, uh, you do want to be very careful with this because this is dangerous. If you are not sure that your power is off, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you probably need to get a professional to do it. This is my test wire and I do have the power turned off to it and verify that it's safe to work with. So now we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop on into this. So as it says, it's a standard 125 voltage, which a house can range, you know, a little bit, but it's going to be 110 uh, to 125 volts normally. So you've got your hot wire, the black wire, your neutral, which is the white, and your ground, which is the green. And it is, in most cases, just as simple as matching up the wires. You want to make sure hot with hot, neutral with neutral, and ground with ground. Give it a twist around it in the direction that you're going to twist the wire nut so that it doesn't untwist the copper off of it. In this case here where I'm actually using this test wire, you can see that I'm only attaching two wires inside each of these wire nuts. If your outlet is not on the end of the line in your house, it is possible that you have three or so wires going into these wire nuts. But if it's much more than that, it could be possible that your house isn't wired normally or, or at least as common as most houses would be. And these may not be sufficient. You may have to have a larger one or may have to look at um, you know, a different type of installation or, um, you know, a different t size wire nut. So, but in this case, it's just simple two wires in there and you want to twist it down on there pretty tight. I'm going to make sure that both wires are in there snug and make sure that, you know, no exposed wires touching. We look like we're all good there. Let's go ahead and fire this outlet up. Okay, so it takes it for a second, takes it a second to boot up here. It's orange, and when it's flashing orange and green, it's ready to be added to the CASA application. Okay, so it's flashing orange and green right now, and you can see dimly lit here. Let me turn off some lighting. You can see dimly lit are these two indicators here, and actually they are the indicators that let you know that it is physically turning on and off those outlets. So let's turn the light back on. Let's hop over into the application. Let's go ahead and go to add a device. We want to add one. We want to add the new KP200 smart outlet. Yes, we're already all wired up. It is flashing orange and green. So now it's going to go search for the wireless that the outlet is outputting that it, so that it can connect to it and send the Wi-Fi credentials that we want it to connect to here at our house. So I'm still running through the setup. Okay, so where I previously had that configured... It had remembered that so I'm going to go ahead and reconnect it to the test network that I've got set up and the password is very secure test pass that is not a good password so don't don't you use that <laughs> all right so let's tell it to join the network so it should take it a second here to probably reboot and go to join the network okay so the the light flashed green several times and now it is soft white. And I'm hoping that that means that it's on the network well. Now I will take a second here and to say it did this and that's why I test things before I do the video it did this the last time 
and it actually said here I waited and waited for this application to come through I don't know if it's because it's a fairly new product and the application just doesn't handle it correctly it seems to be okay here and I ended up having to close out of the application and completely close out of it all together and go back into the application and get it loaded back up and it actually it shows up there um, I'm not exactly sure what's wrong there I waited and waited and waited the last time and it actually never did connect correctly but uh, I am toggling on and off I don't know if you can hear that turning on and off the plug so it is communicating I can turn both of them the indicator lights do go off you can of course um, go through and, and change the settings rename these whatever you want to do um, it, th there just seems to be some issue in their setup for this particular plug but closing out of the app it does show once you give it plenty of time <clears throat> for the outlet to reconnect it does seem that it works okay so this is Morgan with Deven Tech we'll see you again in the next video